And today we are going to be talking about the DRC D69 four wheel drive remote control car. Now this is more on the toy level, but it's still going to be a ton of fun. DRC sent this for us to unbox and show you to let you see if this is the right toy for you. And they wouldn't be confident enough to do that if they weren't sure you were going to love it. So let's open this up. Carter's going to help me with the unboxing and we're going to take a much closer look at this vehicle. And then after we get it out of the box, then we're going to go ahead and take it outside. We're going to see how fast it is, how well it turns, and just check it out. Comes in a plastic piece. Here it, it, it is itself. There, it has suspension on the bottom for all your off-roading. Very nice rubber tires. It has the spoiler. The front wheels turn and the back wheels, they adapt to the ground. Same with the front. And the on and off switch is right here. And then there's a little screw that you have to take out with a screwdriver. And then you slide this over to open it up. And it has blue and red paint all around it. And it comes with a battery. So you don't have to buy batteries for the car. You actually get a rechargeable battery for it. Here's the controller. Very nice. You have a manual. You have a battery education pamphlet. You have a water bottle. And you might be wondering why do you have a water bottle? Carter, tell me about the water bottle. It provides smoke or steam in the back of the vehicle. That's right. right. Here. Fill it in from the very top, right here. It's a rubber padding on the top. And you just fill this up with water, drop it in. And you close the top and when you're driving you can actually hit a button on the remote and it'll look like a jet engine you'll have steam flying out the back of this thing it's got leds and all kinds of stuff and it also comes with the charge cable for the battery and they also give you the screwdriver to access the battery case so carter let's stick a battery in there i'm sure it's got a little charge in it let's see this thing light up before we take it outside and put it through the test it does take an 18650 battery 1200 mAh at 3.7 volts. All right, and a couple things that I've noticed. Of course, your on-off switch is on the bottom, as Carter has pointed out. But you also, right here, you have your steering trim adjustment. So if your car is running to the right or to the left, you just adjust this little dial to get it running straight. It has pretty much like a, a true four-link suspension. It's almost set up like a rock crawler. As you can see, you get a lot of roll in the suspension. And it actually has these little link arms and it has, you know, two drive shafts because it is four wheel drive. So how cool is that? We're going to put some batteries in the controller. We're going to turn this on. We're going to put a little water in there and see if we can get it to steam for you. All right. So we got batteries in. Carter's going to fill her up with some water. All right. Put the cap on. You turn the controller on. I'm going to turn the car on. Oh, I see lights. We're going to turn the lights out so you can see how this thing lights up. Let's see how fast it spins. Check her out. Look at that four wheel drive action. All right, let's see if uh, see if we can get her. What? It didn't take long. We got steam action going. How cool is that? It's gonna look like you're going 100 miles an hour down the road. And if you're pushing this top button, it changes the lighting effects. Pretty cool. I'm gonna kill the big light and that way you can see the lighting effects of the car and check that out This thing looks cool Hit the steam What? It's got a the blue and red LEDs in the back the light illuminate the steam as it comes out You even have some little headlights in the front. How cool is that? So, very cool little car. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it outside, we're going to throw it in the front yard, and we're going to give it a good rip. We're going to see how fast it is, see if it can go through grass. I think this is built more for torque than speed, because meaning it's geared lower so it can go through thicker grass and up hills and things like that. It's made more for tough terrain and not high speed on the road. And being four wheel drive, I think it'll be able to handle it. So let's go play. All right, so we got the little car outside. We're going to toss it on the ground and let's see what it can do. You ready, Carter? Yeah. All right, let's see.
So there you have it, the little DRC car. Not real fast, has a decent amount of torque. Great for the beginner. It's got all the lights. It's got the smoke blowing out the back. So a very cool little toy for your little beginner RCer.